Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a, hopefully a short video, <laughs> of uh, what's going on in the greenhouse. Um, pulled a bunch of tomato plants out over here, and um, because they all fell over and I couldn't get them back up off the ground, as you can see next to them, these are some more, but I don't want to pull these up because they have so many tomatoes on them. You can see they're just absolutely loaded with tomatoes. It's crazy so I'm gonna try to see what I can to get those off the ground and I'm going to try and decide what I can plant in this space that is now free I'm thinking maybe some daikon radish or some beets but we'll see I haven't decided I'll go through my seeds so these are the tomatoes and as you can see they're really kind of crazy they're so heavy that they all fell over on themselves with the weight of the tomatoes so at this point I'm just trying to get them ripe so I can get them out of here and make some either canned tomatoes or tomato sauce with them um, I also wanted to show you, you know, from the other videos the plant that I planted that was supposed to be a squash and it ended up being a pumpkin Well, I trimmed everything back here to go out one stem and I'll take you out the door to see the pumpkin and not the red bucket but the pumpkin <laughs> and there's the pumpkin it's a pretty good size I don't know what I could well here the bucket, I guess it was a good here's a five gallon bucket and there's my pumpkin uh, a couple inches, maybe three or four inches shorter than the bucket, so it's pretty big. Um, so I've been babying this one along um, to try to get a big, decent jack-o'-lantern pumpkin out of it. So I'm hoping that works. It looks good so far. It's a nice, be a great carving pumpkin. All right, I'm going to go back in the greenhouse. Uh, as you can see, the mess I've been weeding and pulling and hot and heck in the air, but that's a good thing because it's pretty cool outside. I'm leaving the heat in for the night because we've been getting um, frost already here. So these are the peppers, the jalapenos, and cayenne, and some sweet pickled peppers with, I can't remember what this is right here. I don't know if you can see it. That's another plant in the back that's kind of, the branches are long and hanging over. I can't remember the... There's some more cayenne. These are golden cayenne. These are uh, Joe's Long, and I have some regular somewhere in here. Um, there are actually pods on these peppers. You can see this. These are loaded with peppers. I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're hiding all over the place in here. Um, then these super hearts start, the super hearts start over here. The pods are all sort of hiding underneath. Um, I'd have to get down on the ground to show you, but they're actually, some of them are coming along really nicely. Um, let me see. Um, this is the one that I lost most of the plant that I showed the pictures on Facebook. Um, the other night we had a really big storm and uh, I didn't want to come out and, and shut the doors to the greenhouse and I should have because it was so windy that it just sheared off half this plant because you know they're top heavy as you can see but I'll go into here and see if I can get any of the peppers for you there's um, scorpion peppers hidden in there somewhere I don't know if you can see any of them kind of hard to get it in there and then these are right here there's one that's almost ready that's Caribbean red there's a bunch of pods it's just so hard to see and then over here are um, Bishop's Crown this is tons of little pods they're so cute I like this one all right I'm gonna move a little bit and show you some more